Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It is super late, 8.30, 8.30, and we just got downstairs. It's because we were home all weekend, so we didn't get to clean. So, um, Gabby's wearing red today. I don't know what that means. Can you guys guess? Don't tell them. Guess in the comments below. Red I shirt. I have a red saddle pad. Shh. Why are you always going to give them clues? So if he's wearing peach, which means... No peach saddle pad. <laughs> we need to get a saddle pad. We need to get a peach saddle pad. The fastest way to get your kids to eat an entire thing of spinach in a week, smoothies. All right, we are about to start homeschool for the day. It is quarter to nine. And we got Gabby over here on the couch with her blanket and Sophie's dog. And she's and just chilling. Stuff made from Italy. Grapefruit juice. So she's got some grapefruit juice um, and she had she had a second ago her dog by her other dog by her side Sophie's got breakfast And a chair and I've got my coffee and we're just gonna get started. I also have Gabby's dog Sometimes that's what homeschool looks like for us Sometimes we're all just laying around on chairs and we're just listening. We're just hanging out We start our morning with our reading. We just slowly ease into it and it's exciting It's exciting for us to all get up do whatever we need to do, get our hair done, get dressed, come downstairs, get our breakfast, and then we just lay down, or we just sit down, and we listen to each other, and we talk, and we interact, and it's made such a huge difference on our family, and it makes us excited to get started for homeschool. We're at the barn, and I'm walking down to get the horses, because Sophie, definitely, her body has changed from all this walking, and I used to walk like crazy. I love walking, but this summer, um. After I hurt my foot, I kind of got out of the habit of it. Then I got lazy and then, yeah, all that stuff happened and I haven't been walking. And another thing, I've noticed that when my girls go down by themselves to get their horses, they come back really fast. Like they're so much faster. No, even when you walk. When I'm yeah, there, they always, has to keep up. they fool around and it's just, I don't know. It's just better when they did it themselves, but I'm back in the game because I want Sophie's body miracle happening. I did not believe in kids losing weight, dieting, any of that kind of stuff, but I do believe in exercise and uh, being healthy. Anyway, we had a barn catastrophe. It happened, yesterday, it happened on Saturday at the show, and I need your guys' advice. So Gabby loves her boots. Her boots yeah. are her dream boots, like, and they fit her so good. The zippers are breaking, though. They keep my heels down, too, because yeah. in the other boots, it's hard to keep your heels down. Yeah, like... Tall boots is easier. She loves them, them uh, to death. So, anyway, a zipper is breaking on one. Should we scrap them and get new boots, or should I get the zippers repaired? I don't even know if that's a thing. Stay out. It's windy. Yeah, what do you want to do? Keep them. Keep them. Hi, Tex. Hello. Hello. You are such a good boy. He did. He got champion, you guys, on the weekend. I'm excited to see Stella again. They're all like, what's happening? Look at Storm. He's like right at the gate. He's like, let's go every single time. Yeah, I can see that. He's like, okay, put my halter on. See, he knows. He's like so good. He could have just walked out. Oh, plus? But he knows he has to get his halter on first. But he's saying to Blue, you better back off. This is my girl. <laughs> like, plus? What a good boy. Sit down. Mom, I thought you were excited to see this pony. I am excited to see this pony who's waiting in the same spot. She's like, am I going out to play in the field or am I going to work? And she ran to catch up with you. She just keeps walking. See, I feel like she's been a wild horse before. It's funny because I stopped and stayed back here thinking like maybe she'll follow me because usually horses. She can walk herself. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm, yeah, I'm going with Storm. <laughs> she. I thought she was following Sophia. I was in love with Sophia, but yeah, no, she's just following Storm. A lot of you guys think that she's herd bound, and she is a little. I know Stella was, or Sabrina was like that too. Sabrina more than Stella, but Stella is a little, but not horribly. She has good days and bad days. If she's like 
really not having a good day than like the day that I was on her, but she rides in the arena all the time without storm and no. is okay. She stops to eat. Another thing that you guys are saying is that it's gotta be boring working the arena all the time. And I believe that, and I agree with that completely. Do you believe with that? Around and around and around all day. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that um, we are gonna take another trip again soon, but we're waiting for the heat to abate. And, and that's another thing with outside is that we don't have really awesome footing here to go for long trail rock rides, but we will do more. Um, but we're, again, we're waiting for the heat to abate because it's scorching right now. Like right now there's a breeze, but out in the sun it's not as nice. It's Wednesday, it's supposed to get colder. And this Saturday, I'm showing the storm again. Mm -hmm. He's like, yes! His mane got cut. Did you cut it? No, but it was braided, remember? And then we had to take the braid out, probably. Who took the braid out? Uh, you. Oh, <laughs> I like it better when it's you. You cut it! No, probably when I took it out. I maybe did cut it, you trim cut it. You cut it, see? There was one braid. uneven. It was already uneven. Well, you should Anyway, I didn't cut it to make it shorter. It may have got trimmed a tiny bit by the seam. Ripper when I took out his no, braid. the seam ripper does not cut mane. See, this is the same way. Yeah, so very first thing she does. Wait, you should brush first. No, I fly spray in the legs so that he does not get irritated by the flies. And when okay. I'm hoof picking, he doesn't go. Mm. Oh, okay. So the only thing I was thinking, if you spray his body and then you brush I him. Brush and then spray before I go in. I know. Oh, That's why we go legs. through 5,000 pounds of uh, fly spray in a season. Okay. Back up. Let's go over here. So Look how clean it is. So I got this from the show. Okay, yeah. In my backpack. And Sal's so gonna love these. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she need to have her own little stage. She had to go in her own stall in her own little stage. The ponies don't get jealous. Oh, so they don't see it? Yeah. Quick, hide it so they don't see it because Sal's already seen it. Stella <laughs> Stella's loves it. like, I see that. It's for after the ride, Stella. After you be a good girl. She's staring at it. Okay, go put it away, because it's teasing. No, go put it in the other room. Um, I always try and make when I'm waiting around while the girls get groomed up, hurry up, so, um, about updates. So, um, another thing that you guys wanted to update about Romeo, our bird, if you guys are just tuning in now, we rescued a baby bird, um, a little starling at the beginning of the summer. Oh, I love that bird. Like he was the best bird I've ever had. Slept in my bra he, when he was a newborn. He was just so sweet. Anyway, over the summer, we showed you a couple of times him out at our uh, trailer outside um, on the ground and stuff. We let him out slowly a little bit every single day. There was a female starling kept coming, hanging off his cage and getting to know him and um, slowly he just disappeared. Um, he started to go further and further and further and further and I think I saw him when we were there yesterday. But yeah, he is free, he's released, it was a long process, it is a long process. And then one day he just flew off and it was, and usually came back but this time he didn't come back. and. Yeah, it's hard. It's Probably hard. hanging out with a female. So that's two birds that we have rescued in the last two years. And I feel like God's trying to tell me something because I love those birds. Like, they were so close to my heart. And now I feel like maybe I'm ready for a bird. Like, I always wanted to have a bird, but I've always been turned off by all the stories about birds. Like, especially bigger birds, how they... Um, are so aggressive and they're so demanding and they need so much attention. Aww. He's like, he's that's, more, he's like, Ugh. he's like, that's a, he do it again. He's like, please, that's the spot. I'm so itchy. <laughs> he's such a lovely horse. No, I think she likes it. <laughs> you like it too? Anyway, that's been on my mind a lot lately is that um, I miss him and I miss our, our crow. Uh, believe it or not, I was even more in love with the, with the, Starling than I was the crow and the crow was a big part of my well, life too. Was a big part of my life more than yeah, so I'm thinking about getting a bird you guys. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, Don't get a bird! 
you don't even know birds. You don't understand birds. You'll never be able to raise a bird. Well, um, I raised two so far up to the point that they didn't need me anymore and they did amazing and I was really happy with them. And so I might try it, you guys. I might get a bird. I might try a bird. I don't know if you guys have some a positive constructive criticism or if you have awesome advice or breeds that you think that we would do the best with we'd love to hear that all right so this is happening gabby picked her her saddle pad um yeah she needs two now it's getting crazy yes. our saddle pad collection grew by three this in the last week we got two new show pads and a new half pad yeah yeah so the reason gabby wore this red shirt today these pants actually kind of match. Yeah, it goes good. Yep. You can't see the red on it, but like, look, they're almost exactly the same. Yeah, they look good. Red colors. Yep. Yeah. And that's my it? favorite saddle pad. That's my favorite saddle pad of all your saddle pads, like in, in terms of how it looks. Can you grab my jump? Can you bring out my jump boots? All right, you guys, today it's gonna be all about coordination. Color, Jumping. coordination. Oh yeah, they're also red. Yeah. Okay, I'm so, yeah, Sophie's doing it. What are you doing, Sophie? Using actually, this side pad. She's breaking out the Sabrina, Sabrina pad. I actually do not like purple on her. I feel like that's a sign from God. Yeah, purple looks bad. Yeah. yeah. Gabby's readjusting the jumps. How high are you jumping today? 18 inches. Is that what you're showing? Yeah. Okay, so at the show this weekend, she's jumping 18 inches, so that's what you're going to practice? Yep. Yep. Uh-oh. You want me to hold him? No. Listen, she got him in trouble. He's just standing there, but she screamed his name, and he jumped his head up and looked at her. Like, that horse trusts her. Um, and another thing about Storm is that he is super confident he is a confident horse like he doesn't need other he doesn't look around to see if there's other horses around him he just looks at gabby and is like yep yeah, you're my girl and it wasn't always like that either with him and hopefully it's going to be like that with stella i feel like god always gives me signs and lately i have not told you guys this but the last like week maybe toby has been seeking me out over cookie dough usually he's really close with cookie our dog cookie um but he's been seeking me out so even when cookie's running around he wants me he wants me more than anybody else now and he's almost like exactly like our other chihuahuas like mm -hmm. he just wants to be with me and connect with me and that is huge and I feel like God's saying to me, it took two years for you to get this with him. Over two years. Um, just have patience and it's all going to happen in time. It is all going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Such a good girl today. What the heck? I don't understand how one day it can be so different from the other. I think a lot of that's a minor thing because Sabrina was different every single day. So Storm loves the show ring. Like he loves it. I mean, he was so fresh when she got on there though. Her warm up rod, he was bucking, but not really, like not trying to get her off. He was just doing all these little jumps in the air. Yeah, he did like a little, oh, nice. He did this little jump. He did this little buck out of excitement. He was like, he was crazy, wasn't he? Um, yeah, and for our show, um, when we were asked to canter, um, he went, buck, buck, gallop, buck, and then slowed right down to canter. <laughs> and then went to work. He's like so excited. God. <laughs> Scared ya? I swear she gained weight again. Ugh, so frustrating trying to figure it out. The outdoor I wish we had an outdoor arena here because they really like outside riding I 
My pretty girl. I like that trot. You do? Yeah. So I find with the new bit, she she she's more responsive. She goes to the corners better. She doesn't try and cut corners. She stays on the rail better. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, she didn't stop all the way. Did you want her to? I wanted her to walk. Oh, you wanted her to walk? Good girl. She hates what? Figure eight. <laughs> she hates figure eight. for you to tell him what to do. not want to go over that pool for the longest time. So that's what Gabby sophie has been working on. He's a ruby. You were a ruby. You were a ruby. Oh, you're so good. Okay, we're about to. Um, you have to do him on the other side, right? Yeah. So he doesn't get used to just one side. And I'll fix this one, and then we're done because you don't want to work him too hard, work any of them too hard in the heat. Although it's nice in here. Done? Oh boy. He wants to go again. <laughs> he wants to go again? Can we do it again? Yeah. Oh boy. He is excited. Name that nose sticking out, you guys. Oh, they all know that nose. They all know that nose? Yeah. Let's make sure they have water.
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.